Thank you all for joining us tonight. I would like everyone to please join me and stand for the presentation of our colors. How are you guys? Uniform, please salute the flag and others. Hand over your heart. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Scout side. The scout over. I'm on honor. I will do my best. To do my duty, to guide my country, to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. The scout law. The scout, scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. The outdoor code. As an American, I will do my best. Be clean in my outdoor be careful to fire, be the outdoors, and be Thank you everyone for joining us tonight. My name is Weston Medvex. I will be your master of ceremonies for tonight. Welcome to this Eagle Court of Honor. This is an occasion for pride and joy, as well as a time for serious reflection. The Eagle is the highest recognition that scouting offers the scouts. It is earned through the scouting advancement program only a small percentage of scouts who begin with the scouting receive the summit. Before we begin, I would like to welcome Pastor J.P. from Christ United Methodist Church, who will be delivering the invitation. Thank you. It is a privilege to be here. I'm sorry I have to pray and run, um, but I do have a 6.30 appointment tonight. Um, before I lead us in the prayer, some personal words for you, young man. On Sunday, we had our confirmation celebration in the church. Young people who made their vows, made their vows their own. One of them who was baptized as part of the confirmation service. And each of them had a chance to give their own personal story or testimony of favorite moments at confirmation. Two of them said it was playing Gaga Ball in the Gaga Ball pit on the confirmation retreat day with their friends in the class, with their teachers, and with their pastor, who was roaring and bellowing and knocking people down as much as it's possible and permitted by the sports. I was being very aggressive. I was not wielding an axe. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you. We actually have a God who's playful. I mean, who else would have thought of things like cockroaches? And, um, and narwhals? That's playful. Um, we have Jesus who loved to put children at the center of things and bless them, even though everybody else thought children were a disruptive force. Is that, are children a disruptive force? Can I get an amen? Yeah. Jesus put him in the center of everything because Jesus has a playful streak. And so we're grateful to have a playful God and grateful that you are helping us play. So let's pray. God, we are so thankful for this day. We're so thankful for Luke for his success that's brought him to this moment for the favor that you have poured out on him. We're thankful for the friendships that are here in scouting. His friends, his leaders and their friends and his family members and their friends. We're thankful for the gift of play. We're thankful that you're a God who creates playfully, who puts children at the center of your kingdom, who, who dances in the circle dance of the Holy Trinity and invites us to join. We pray for your blessing on the food, on the fellowship, on this solemn and joyful occasion. 
the name of our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor JP. We would now, at this time, begin the Court of Honor, honoring Father. During the highest rank and scout the scout must spend a great deal of time and effort. Therefore, the occasion that recognizes his accomplishments should be memorable. Tonight, we shall follow, like the Eagle Trail, as we recognize the accomplishments of Luke Barley. When a boy becomes a boy scout, there is within him something that we call the spirit of scouting. This single lighted candle before you represents that spirit. Because the spirit of scouting embodies the principles of the scout of the law, it becomes a shining beacon of inspiration. Alone, this light may seem feeble, but when multiplied by more than three and a half million boys in scouting around the world, it is powerful indeed. After a boy enters scouting, the scout law that he promises to obey begins to guide his life, one by one, using the flame from the spirit of scouting. We shall light the symbols for each part of the scout law. There are 12 parts. Each is an important foundation in that of building strong character. The scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, empty, brave, clean, and reverent. The scout oath that the young scout promises upon his honor to do his best to, to do his duty, first to God and his country, second to other people by helping them at all times, and third to himself by keeping himself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. You see now this light from the spirit of scouting is now beginning to grow and become brighter. Now in the distance, bloom the hazy outlines of Eagle Summit, flanked by the lesser peaks that represent the star and light rays. To the new scout, they are very far away, but they will come a lot closer as the light from the sphere of scouting continues to spread. The scout begins as tender boy. stands at the foot of the eagle trail. Once inspired by the spirit of scouting, he won't stay a tenderfoot very long. Putting a few simple achievements behind him, he will shortly climb to the rank of second class. The requirements for second class become more difficult. A scout must learn to be self-sufficient in the outdoors and to continue to render service to others. Now the scout is ready for the challenge to attain first class. Although the requirements become more difficult, he keeps climbing until finally comes the day when he tops the first summit along the Eagle Trail. There, he receives his first, first class badge. merit badges awaits the first class scout. More than 100 merit badges guide the scout to explore careers, hobbies, and community interest items. The scout needs but a total of six to conquer the scout, Star Scout Summit. Probably a lot sooner than he thought possible, the scout finds himself standing on Star Ridge. Thus, through leadership, service, and achievement, he conquers the first of the three great peaks along the Eagle Trail. The trail to the next summit, Life Scout Peak, is an easy one. There is leadership to demonstrate, service to others, and plenty of hard work in mastering five different air badges and helping fellow scouts. The higher the scout climbs, the fewer travelers he needs along the trail. 
yet there are no impossible barriers along the way. This Life Scout's goal can be achieved, but it takes real effort. While the rank of Life Scout is a co co coveted one and deserving to all who obtain it, the Eagle Trail does not end there. It leads on toward a higher summit. The pathway narrows and steepens considerably as it winds, it winds along ledges of personal achievement and mountain pastures of true accomplishment. Mile by mile, the trail becomes more trying. Many challenges must be conquered in these last miles. Before the highest summit along the trail can be completed, additional merit badges must be earned. Some of them are very difficult, and leadership and service to others are not forgotten. Only with the greatest persistence and courage can the scout gain the thrill of victory that comes while looking back down the trail from the, the very top of the Eagle Summit. I would now like to call Kyle Barley to come up front and get the Eagle Charge. Candidate Luke Barley, please come forward. Luke, are you ready to accept the challenge of the Eagle Scout and rededicate yourself to both the Scout Oath and the Scout Law? I ask at this time that all Eagle Scouts present in this room please stand at this time to reaffirm your Eagle Charge. I charge you to undertake your citizenship with a solemn dedication. Be a leader, but lead only towards the best. Lift up every task you do and every office you hold to the high level of service to God and your fellow men. You have too many who use their strength and their intellect to exploit others for selfish gains. I charge you to be among those who dedicate their skills and ability to the common good. Everyone, please give the Scout sign, repeat after me. I reaffirm my allegiance. I reaffirm my allegiance. To the three promises of the Scout Oath. To the three promises of the Scout Oath. I thoughtfully recognize and take upon myself. I thoughtfully recognize and take upon myself. The obligations and responsibilities. The obligations and responsibilities. Of an Eagle Scout. Of an Eagle Scout. On my honor, I will do my best. On my honor, I will do my best. To make my training an example. To make my training an example. And my status and my influence. And my status and my influence. Count strongly for better scouting. Count strongly for better scouting. And for better citizenship. And for better citizenship. In my troop. In my troop. In my community. In my community. And in my contacts with other people. And in my contacts with other people. To this I pledge my sacred honor. To this I pledge my sacred honor. Signs down. Luke Barley, it is my privilege by the National Court of Honor of the Boy Scouts of America to pronounce you an Eagle Scout. Let's have a big round of applause. Will the Honor Guard please escort Mr. and Mrs. Barley up to the front? Thank you, Honor Guard. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Barley, will you please at this time pin the Eagle badge on your son Luke? As someone who has cared, provided for you, and helped you advance along the trail of Eagle, I now ask you to pin the Eagle Mother pin on your mother. Uh, uh, Mr. Barley, will you please take it? No, I'll, I'll All right. Okay. Thank you. 
Sorry if this is for <laughs> Will you please present your chosen mentor, their mentor pin? Oh, wait. This is, uh, this is yeah, one. yeah, put the pin on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for attending Luke's Eagle Scout ceremony. I'm very proud for Luke. I'm very proud of Luke for sticking with his scouting and completing his Eagle Scout requirements. Luke has shown through his actions that he has what it takes to be an Eagle Scout. Uh, Luke's Eagle Scout was a his project was a Gaga pit, but the pastor stole my thunder, so I'll leave <laughs> that part out. But it's been a great addition to the church and the soccer fields, and it's great to be a part of Troop 106. They have leaders in Troop 106 that go the extra mile to make sure the boys have a good program. And they also go the, the extra mile on hiking trips because the sense of direction eludes them often. <laughs> Not pointing any finger, but you know who we are. <laughs> I'd like to present a small token of our appreciation to Ms. Sheila. Ms. Sheila, can you come up, please? do 
Don't give it to her yet. <laughs> Turn around. So, Sheila, on our camp out, sometimes we have a little extra scout spirit. And I've gathered up all the extra scout spirit, and we bottled, bottled it up for you, because I know how you like to spread it around. So here you go. Give it to her. scout spirit in there. to spread stuff around too. Uh, Crystal just got a new vehicle and she likes to call it her APSV, her all-purpose scouting vehicle. And she always has it full of scouting uh, supplies. But there's something in her inventory that gets used a lot and I'd like to help her stock up on it. Come on up, Crystal. We got you a whole bunch of positive energy. Oh, I love it. Uh, our scoutmaster, Mr. Rogers, can you come up, please? This is our scoutmaster, Tony Rogers. This guy always has the campfire burning at the crack of dawn. He makes coffee so hot you can't drink it until it cools off for an hour. I have scars in my mouth from this guy's coffee, but it's really good. He knows. Tony knows how to ride the fine line between having an awesome scouting adventure and having to call the rescue team to get us back to see him. <laughs> People always say, oh, Tony, he's incredible. And Luke and I have designed a small trophy to thank you for your dedication to scouting. <laughs> You're incredible. <laughs> In closing, in closing, I'd like to say that scouting has given us great friendships and great adventures, and I appreciate all of you. Thank you. a couple of things real quick about Luke and somehow some one of the things we, we really strive for in our in our hope to give character good character to our scouts is we hope to see them in, uh, grab a hold of the scout law and make it part of their lives. So uh, I was thinking about camp outs that we've been, been on and there was one first aid meet there's a picture I have on my phone first aid week, and Luke has that smile that's always there, it's always cheerful. Uh, something that he, he has grabbed the scout walk and made it part of his life. Countless Eagle service projects, uh, camping nights, creekside cleanup. I think your boss made you do it, but uh, <laughs> uh, I also want to recognize the fact that there are, there are young men here that aren't scouts. The scout is friendly. And thanks for coming, guys. It's great to see you. Um, so that I can close real quick and get off the floor here, I just wanted to say uh, thanks, Luke. And thanks for being part of 106, and I hope you continue to be part of 106 for a long time. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to share your voice. Thank you. Yes, I would. Um, I just want to thank everyone for coming out.
joining us and congratulating Luke Farley with this achievement and thank you for thank you God Alitas and everyone else for making this celebration possible and a success. Now I would like to ask Mr. Barley to conclude this court with a closing prayer. Okay. Lord, I have been blessed. Okay. I have been blessed with a beautiful family. I have been blessed with wonderful friends. I ask you, Lord, to bless everyone here with your grace. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 This concludes the Court of Honor. Please enjoy dinner provided by Adelina's Fallen Cake After. Thank you. Thank you.